The gateway cloning method is an in vitro version of the integration and excision recombination events that take place when bacteria of H. lambda infects bacteria. Phage integrates into the bacterial genome using special enzymes. These enzymes recognize specific non-polyndromic ATT sites followed by recombination. As you can see, ATTP and ATTB sites are recombined forming new hybrid ATTL and ATTR sites. Under certain conditions, these new sites can also recombine, leading to excision of the phage from the bacterial chromosome and the regeneration of ATTP and ATTB sites. Gateway cloning is a method that enables researchers to efficiently transfer DNA fragments between the plasmids. Conventional techniques require restriction enzymes for it, but not the gateway cloning. Let's see how it works. First of all, you need to add two different ATTB sites to both 5' and 3' ends of your sequence to be transferred from one plasmid to another using PCR. Then you insert your PCR product into the so-called gateway donor vector with ATTP1 and ATTP2 sites using BP clonase, enzyme responsible for the recombination. Don't forget about the byproduct. Resulting entry clone has ATTL1 and ATTL2 sites, being a hybrid of ATTB and ATTP sites. Next, you can transfer your sequence from entry clone to destination vector by recombination of ATTL and ATTR sites using LR clonase. And it's all extremely simple. If you want to know more about the gateway cloning, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Good luck.